Good evening. Welcome to the Christmas tree lighting for the state of Vermont and the State House. I am Buildings and General Services Commissioner Chris Cole. I've had the pleasure of speaking to a second crowd today for those of you that were at the series launch this morning. Uh, we are now going to be entertained by a song. We have with us this evening Doug Perkins and Patrick Ross of the band Hot Flannel. Gentlemen, take it away. Thank you, Doug and Patrick. I now have the privilege and honor to introduce the governor of the great state of Vermont, Phil Scott. Well, good evening. What a great night, what a great day. Now we have series on top of the state house. It kind of completes everything, a great day like that. Uh, I thank you very much for being here tonight. This is a really special event, and I'm happy to join you to celebrate this season. I'd like to thank uh, Larry and Pat Fortier and their family for donating this beautiful, beautiful tree, as well as Doug and uh, Pat for the wonderful music. I'd also like to thank Bruce. Now, you know, Bruce was the winter storm we just had, Bruce. Uh, I, for one, didn't realize that we, uh, we name snowstorms these days. Hopefully we'll have to name a lot as the, uh, the winter goes along. But I do appreciate Bruce doing his part to decorate for the holidays a little earlier than usual. I know the daily commuters may not be as excited as I am, but we do live in Vermont. If we're going to have cold, we might as well have snow along with it. So uh, slow down and uh, be careful out there because winter is actually here. Now, this November snow has also helped kick off uh, the outdoor sports season with many of our ski areas and resorts opening up a little bit early, which is a great sign for what we hope to be a very strong season. I'd also like to thank, uh, take a moment to thank the utility crews uh, that have been working day and night over the last few days to restore power to nearly 100,000 folks throughout Vermont. Yeah, you get my hand. With, uh, with the winter upon us, it's also time to make sure we're checking on the elderly and more vulnerable neighbors that we have. When the, when the temperatures drop, 
and the snow makes it uh, getting around a little bit more difficult, take some time to see if you can help someone through the next few months. Make sure they have heat, the walk is shoveled, or, or they've got enough food in the pantry. Even a quick visit just to say hi goes a long way, and, uh, and it would be great, greatly appreciated by, by many. Now, Vermont is known uh, for our deep sense of community and commitment to our neighbors. We help each other out. It's part of our DNA. We go the extra mile. We believe in each other and the value of every person. During this holiday season, it's important to reflect on how fortunate we really are to live in this brave little state, along so many good and decent people who in their homes and jobs and churches give so much of themselves in service to others. So let's make sure we don't take it for granted. So here tonight, as we kick off the Christmas season, let's commit ourselves to showing gratitude for each other, and especially all those Vermonters who inspire us with their kindness, with their random acts of kindness, with their commitment to their families, their compassion and optimism, and their unconditional love. Because to me, that's what this season represents, and that's what this tree represents, especially at a time when our debate and dialogue often lacks the respect and civility our country desperately needs and deserves. It's up to us to remember the golden rule, do unto others as you would have done unto you. It's really pretty simple. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Even when someone may not be extending it to you or extending that same courtesy, because that's when it really matters the most. In this time of division, we must, uh, we must remember that our children, our children, many of them here tonight, are watching, they're listening, and they need role models to help make sure they understand the right way to engage with each other, to talk to each other, and to treat each other. So as well, we should also keep in mind there are many Vermont families who are less fortunate than we are. We may not be looking forward to this season as many of us do. Let's do our part to make sure all Vermonters feel the joy of giving this season. Take some time to donate or volunteer at a local food shelter or community soup kitchen. Contribute to a mitten tree or toy drive that helps spread happiness to all of Vermont's children. Make a donation to a local charity and always, always be kind to each other. It goes farther than we can realize. Let's also remember that we have men and women who in the military will not be home for the holidays, who are in distant lands serving our nation and protecting the values that we cherish so much. Let's keep them and their families in our thoughts as we move towards the new year. And finally, Let's embrace the hope and promise for the holiday season. With so much negativity in the world today, and so many ways to get caught up in the anger and hate, let's use this time to be the example, the shining star for others to look to and learn from, because that's the Vermont way. So thank you very much for being here tonight, and Merry, Merry, have a Merry Christmas. Governor, thank you for those inspirational words. I think you hit all the right marks. This is a time of giving and a time for, for remembering those who are less fortunate than ourselves. Thank you. Doug, Patrick.
Thank you, Doug and Patrick. So on uh, behalf of the state of Vermont, to the Fortier family, uh, Larry and Pat, uh, we have a certificate uh, for their gift to the state, which is this magnificent tree. And it reads, thank you on behalf of Governor Phil Scott and the state of Vermont in recognition of your generous contribution to the 2018 Governor's Tree Lighting Ceremony, Larry and Pat Fortier. Please come up and receive your certificate of appreciation. Nicole, did you get it? Okay. Thank you, David. You're your choice. Totally. Your choice. <laughs> we're, we're Thank delighted. you. Thank you so much for, for donating your tree. We really appreciate it. 30 years. Check us out. Yeah. It's beautiful. We've got another one going. Oh, good. good. <laughs> I hope to be around. Yeah, me too. That's our goal. We also uh, have uh, certificates of appreciation for our musical duo this evening, Doug Perkins and Patrick Ross. Please step up and receive your certificates. This is for Doug. And for Patrick, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a picture. Perfect. Get them. We'll box these back up for you, Jim. We'll box them up. There you go. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. Can we have the little elves, the little kids, come on up who want to assist the governor with the candy cane? I know. All right, here comes a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! 